Welcome to Foam University. Today we're going to talk about insulating concrete block walls with injection foam. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Some of you didn't even know you could insulate concrete block walls. A lot of you might have thought that the only way to insulate those type of walls are to put something on the surface of it. And yeah, that can be done. A lot of times uh, it's an option that most people recommend. However, injection foam is really the best option to insulate that wall. Here's why. One, you don't have to give up any space. If you add anything on the inside or the outside of that wall, obviously you're gonna lose space inside or the outside of your building. The next thing is, it's a lot less invasive. The process of insulating a concrete block wall is generally you're going to drill a small hole into the block face and you're going to actually fill the cores of the block with injection foam. And so blocks are laid in a staggered pattern so that the cores actually line up. So if you, were to, if you can imagine looking down from the top of that wall, I, ideally you could see all the way down to the foundation. Now of course there might be some supports and things like that throughout those cores, but pretty much those, those cores go all the way down. And that's what you do is you fill those cores with foam insulation, with injection foam. There are some other materials out there that you can pour in. Usually it's a granular type material that you would pour in from the top or take a block out and fill some in. We haven't seen much success for those used in the industry. And a lot of people might not know, but that's actually where injection foam, one of the early uses for injection foam is filling block cores on commercial buildings. Most of your Walmarts, your McDonald's, your Lowe's, your Home Depots, those type of buildings that are built out of block, a lot of those are filled with, uh, with injection foam. We actually have done many of those buildings here in Michigan. Um, something else to keep in mind is uh, it can be done from the inside or the outside a lot of times. So if you have a nice exterior on the outside and you may not want to mess with it, or if you have a nice interior, you have nicely finished drywall, a lot of things on the inside, that process can be done from either side. So it gives a lot of options. But again, if you have a block wall, you're limited to begin with, you have to realize that. But injection foam is really built around that process. So it's, in a lot of ways, it's specifically designed for that application. That's actually, like I said, that's how we got our start in this industry is filling commercial block walls. Like this video, hope you enjoyed the information. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Leave us a comment, tell us if you have a block wall. You know, this also applies to houses. So if your house has a basement block foundation, or even if you have outside walls that are block walls, leave us a comment, tell us about your situation. I'm sure we can help you out. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button so you get all of our notifications. What are you doing? Did you hit the like button? Just subscribe. You better hit that like button right now, brother. Get it. Like if we did put that at the end of that video, that'd be pretty cool.